You're not unphotogenic or ugly, you're just shooting your photos wrong. Now, I'm sure at some point we've all been chilling at the crib, scrolling through Instagram, and start to wonder how all these influencers are posting the most perfect fit pics to their feeds. Using only the phones in their pockets, they're able to generate hundreds of thousands to millions of likes and engagement. Over the last few years of taking fit pic after fit pic, I finally cracked the code. Well, kind of. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and show you guys exactly how to take fit pics so fire that the brands are gonna start piling up in your DMs. All I'm gonna be using is my iPhone 11. So even if you have zero photography experience, all you need is a phone to follow along. With that being said, make sure to stay tuned for the full duration of the video because I'm gonna be slipping in plenty of valuable tips that might just help you with the troubles that you're facing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to my closet and find an outfit. Cause I've done this whole intro without y'all realizing that I'm still in my boxers. So I definitely think I should throw some pants off first. I won't lie, it is a bit cold outside. All right, so definitely a pretty chilly day and these car hearts will definitely come in handy. This tee is gonna be used as an undershirt because it's definitely too cold for me to be outside in a tee. So I'm just gonna throw this on and then pick out a hoodie that suits these pants. I ended up going with this black split stitch hoodie from Menace LA. Super thick and honestly perfect because I'm not gonna feel any type of wind or breeze in this hoodie. As well, it has a fire boxy fit. That just goes crazy with my fit. Now, I don't wanna wear this hat, but I definitely need to wear a hat because I don't wanna do my hair. And that's where this Fuck Love beanie comes in. This beanie was actually Kid Leroy merch from his first EP, Fuck Love. And yeah, I really haven't worn it much with fits, but I think it goes perfect with this. I might as well throw on some dunks to finish off the fit because I absolutely love these and I think they go perfect with the Carhartt pants. Now that I got my fit, I'm about to head out to the car and do a little bit of location scouting. Now my first tip for y'all when it comes to shooting by yourself, because it definitely can be a little weird and awkward. I started off shooting by myself, so it didn't help that I was learning to take photos while also being like super nervous about people walking by and seeing me. But one thing that you're gonna have to get over is that people are gonna stare. Content creation is still a weird thing for most people. So whether you're taking pictures or vlogging by yourself, you're gonna have to get used to those uncomfortable stares. And if you'd say you're socially anxious, you could always just pick a more secluded spot where it's not in a high traffic area, where there aren't gonna be plenty of people walking or driving by because if you're not comfortable while taking the pictures you'll literally be able to see the awkwardness through the image but enough rambling let's head out and find a spot i just pulled up here to the spot that i'm trying to shoot at location wise it's very much simple and that's just going to show y'all even more that you don't need a special location or anything crazy to do what i'm doing here there's usually two different ways that i go about this whole situation the first way that y'all can do it is the easier way and that is picking up a tripod from amazon as well as a bluetooth photo clicker like this which you can easily hook up to your phone using bluetooth then all you have to do is press the button here and it'll take the pictures on your phone. The second method would be using something like a car or a ledge to hold your phone up and then using self timer. Honestly, it's just a bit more of a struggle. You can definitely be a bit limited on your angles and moving your camera will be a lot tougher. But if you don't have the money for a tripod or a clicker, something as simple as setting your phone up like this, obviously in a better lighting scenario, and then self timer and taking your pics. Anyways, enough talking, I'm ready to get these pics done. Hey y'all, basically I just wanted to run you through what I'm doing here so it doesn't seem too confusing. Basically, I have the Bluetooth clicker in my pocket and I'm just trying to keep it hidden. As you can see, it's all about movement for me. That's how I don't feel awkward or too stiff, especially if I'm nervous moving around. It helps the picture just feel more natural. So if you have a bit of a newer iPhone, 0.5 lens will definitely give you a great result. It probably looked really simple and that's because it is and that's realistically why anybody watching right now can do exactly what I'm doing. Now that we're back at the crib, the next step is going through all of these photos that I just took. Mind you, an Instagram carousel only allows 10 pictures. I usually only like to use about four to seven swipes. So that means I'm gonna have to go through the almost 170 photos I took today and delete a bunch of them until I find the ones that are perfect for my post. What I like to do is each time I find a picture I like, I just go ahead and hit the favorite button at the bottom. From there, I usually have about 20 pictures I like and then rinse and repeat until we're down to the number that we need. Okay, so I took a few minutes and I tried my best to narrow it down as much as possible. And then I finally got it down to 10 pictures but it's finally time to learn how to edit your pictures like a fashion influencer. The app that I'm gonna be using to edit these pictures is Adobe Lightroom Mobile, and I use this program on my phone as well as on my computer to edit every single picture I take. Now I have the pictures imported into the app. Usually when I'm editing my IG pics, I just hit the presets tab and use one of the many presets that I've made over time. And obviously this seems like a bit of a cheat code, but I actually provide plenty of preset tutorials all over TikTok. And I'll achieve a bunch of dope filters. I also have a wide range of options on my website with plenty of free options that you can use on your phone literally right now. So if you're interested in those or even some of my more professional 
professional preset, all you have to do is head over to my website, which will be linked in the description below, and pick what presets you think will fit your aesthetic. But for those that just want a clean looking image that doesn't look like it's heavily edited, then you're mostly gonna wanna mess around with the sliders in the light tab. One thing about most phone pictures is that they're either severely overexposed or underexposed. In this instance, you can see my skin is a little bit too bright, so I'm pulling back on exposure as well as adding some contrast to make myself pop. And editing like this might seem tough, but the more you do it, the more that you're gonna learn and kind of just figure out what works best for you. The second last thing I wanna do is just go into the tone curve, make myself pop off the background a little bit more. Then the last thing I wanna do is head over to the detail tab, add a tad bit of sharpening, and just like that, you've got yourself a really clean edit that's ready to be posted to Instagram. Now this edit personally isn't my style and wouldn't be posted on my Instagram like this. I'm gonna use one of my free presets from my website, which is the Drake preset. And this is what it looks like on my picture. As you can see, all the settings that I applied to this photo before I put the preset on are now changed. So just like I did last time, I'm gonna tweak the exposure settings so that the preset I'm using works more seamlessly with my picture. And after just about a minute of tweaks, I'm very happy with our end result. Now, if y'all are interested in seeing the edited versions for all the pictures, then it's the perfect time to go follow my Instagram. And honestly, if you've watched this whole video and haven't already, then what are you doing? Like, <laughs> then what are you even doing? I mean, seriously, how could you watch this whole video without even knowing if I take good pictures or not? Regardless, thank you so much for watching and hopefully this video helped you in any way. If it did, let me know in the comments below, subscribe, and of course, hit that post notification bell. And if you're looking for some more photo shoot content or photo tips, make sure to watch this video here where I get my girlfriend with zero photography experience to take my my picture using my professional camera. As always, have a good day and peace.